Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I think we're done with everything up here, although it's nice to know that I can always just uh, teleport up here when I want to come back. I think the next thing for us to do is just to go down, because there's a whole new world. A whole new world? A whole new world! A dazzling place I never knew. <laughs> oh wow, we can actually paraglide for a long time. Let's check out this ruined building first. Cool. Gate post. Whoa, what the what? There's somebody there. Are those guards? I have a weapon. I have the wrong weapon for this. Let's not use up our uh, amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and use the this thing. Oh hi. Oh Mina. Uh. All right, well, you know, you don't always, uh, <laughs> you don't always meet a girl, you know, fighting people and then she gives you grilled fish, but so, you know, sometimes, you know, it just happens. All right. So we know that that's Mina. This is Mills. So they're hunting? Yeah, they're treasure hunters. Do I have to, like, look out for them now? Are they gonna die? If they try to do anything themselves? Rusty broadsword. Oh, it makes the last one I had seem so much less... special. Alright, well, there's nothing... Oh, there is something here. Whoa. And blazon shield. It had three, it said. Uh, it's actually not as good as any of my other shields, so I'm just gonna leave that there for now. I mean, it's... Well, if there's treasure hunters, I could probably sell stuff somewhere. Rusty Claymore. Yeah, but I can't carry. Wow. So there is, like, life down here. It's not just... Totally... Oh... What? Are they... All coming towards me? Oh! Wow. Uh. Am I still in combat with them? What in the fuck? Is that a fox? It looks like a fox. Yeah, so there's tons and tons. Oh, it's going to sleep. Oh, it's starting to turn night. Can I pet the fox? Oh. That wasn't going to hurt it. There is a surprising amount of life down here, you know, for being... Post-apocalyptic high roll. Oh. Uh. Yeah, me and my aiming skills. Shit, stop moving so much. Oh, then watch this be like, tingle. Shit. <sighs> Fucking. It's like avoiding my, uh, thing. Alright. Oh, is there another one? Oh, god damn it. Damn it. There we go. Is that it? There's a third one. 
You have to like lead it by a little bit, and I'm terrible at leading. I always have been. Just gonna use all my arrows doing this. There we go. And it's just, yeah, I figured it was pretty much just a Korok. Alrighty then. Alright, so there's a sleeping Bobokin. Those aren't horses, those look more like ponies. Alright, Link. Alright, Link. Is that that looks a little too big for a Bobo kin Boko Bo Boko kin? I don't actually know what their proper names are. No, that is something else. <gasps> is that a moblin? I think it's a moblin. Oh, and there's like a shimmering light over there. No, no. God damn you. Did he just hit? Okay. Well, if I can run over here. Ow. Okay. So let me get over to him. And I can do the stealth attack thing. Because that is definitely a moblin. They're like pig based. Oh yeah, he's big and ugly and he's annoying. Alright. There we go. Wow, they had like long snouts. Yeah, Moblin, totally. And of course the horses are gonna run away. So is this a Moblin club? A Belko Bat. What's that, six? Uh oh. What is that? Small birds love this nut. Ooh. So there's like whole things of keys now. I better go ahead and pick up this bat. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. All right. Well, all right. Hey, you. Did the horses run away? No, the horses are still here. Yay, it's another cork. I feel like I'm just going to get lost exploring this game and never find my way to the main quest. Hi, horsies. Can I ride you? No, horsies don't like me. Not yet, at least. But I will get you. Ow. Yep, never approach a horse from behind. Well, that... that didn't end well for me. Come on. No, you were heading this way. I don't even know if I really need to get a horse. Probably not. It's probably not the best thing for me to do right now, to be honest. Or maybe it is. Maybe I should just get a horse, but... I don't know. Ooh. So, magnet? No, not magnet. Meaning, lift that up, and then I can do that. Oh, it's in here. Ooh, opals. Oh, there's fish in here, too. Can I catch fish with my bare hands? Probably. Probably, because Link is Link. Hyrule Bass. Hyrule Bass. Badum, 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 badum. The music is just sometimes interesting. It pops up whenever it wants to, really. 
I don't know which way I'm supposed to be. So that way, I shouldn't go that way, because that's towards the castle, and he said there's a whole bunch of guardians there. Um, which means, I guess go the opposite way of the castle. Gatepost town ruins. This is like two buildings, though. It's not really much ruins of a town. And I see some, like, shrines... Or, actually, yeah, I, could, I should go to one of those spires. I thought I marked a couple of spires. Really? They're not asleep yet? Why? Hmm. There's a lot of them. Why aren't the moblins asleep? Also, the goddamn... Are you fucking kidding me? Listen, you cut it out with that shit. Wow, that uh... You did not notice that somehow. Don't notice me. Don't do it. You don't want to. <laughs> Smacked him in the butt. Moblin Club. Oh, those are better than those. I'll oh, grab the Moblin Club. They're slow. I see. Oh shit, and he noticed me. Oh, that's gonna hit me. Wow, that does a ton of damage. Okay, can we get up, Link? Yeah, I really hate the slow items. I've never been a fan of them in any game, to be honest. Alright, we need like three hearts. Let's get, we got that, and then we got a dubious somewhere for one. Ooh, God, why is there no roll button? And wow, that seriously does three hearts a hit? Alright, so I just pretty much can't get hit. Oh wow, that heals exactly what I needed. I'm not 100% sure what to do with this, considering there's no roll button. B is not... Whoa, what the... Not... Alright. The fact that there's no button to climb and he auto-climbs just screwed me. Nope, that's five. Alright, we can eat that. At least I'm getting use out of my food. I spent a while. Interesting, they're territorial. Moblins do a ton of damage, though. You sort of need to get a sneak attack on them, which is entirely possible, but, like... I, I don't know why they weren't sleeping at night. Shouldn't they all have been sleeping? What is this? Rusty Halberd. And this is a shield? Yep, Rusty Shield. Not useful. Wow, there's just a ton of moblins over here. Is that something flying or like a flag? It looks like a flag. So moblins are... Territorial. They're protecting this forest area. For some reason. At least that's what it looks like. Alright. Well, let me just keep moving this way. It'll be fine.
So they see me. Or is this just like the edge of their range? Also, there's totally something there. Is that a Deku? Probably. Honestly, I should start just trying to see how bombs would take care of these guys. Because it probably does more damage than any of my weapons, to be perfectly frank. Don't do it. Oh, fuck you. Okay, and stop rolling, please. Wrong one. Wait, how do I switch? It's up. Wait. Can I... Is this a thing I can do? Nope, can't stop people. But I can't apparently. I can't apparently get them stuck on trees. Which is, you know... Wow, and bombs just don't do any damage in this game, apparently. Is he about to... Oh, I thought he was about to throw a rock at me. It's just... <sighs> something about this is just... Off, you know? Bombs don't do any damage. Because they've been regulated to solely, uh... A, uh... What's the word? A puzzle-solving element. And, uh, the game zone sneak mechanism didn't work. Like, I played by ru your rules game. I, I, I was sneaking, and then they noticed me enemy. Anyway. I don't know what to say there. Hi, Fox. What are those? Those Boko? Oh, yeah, they are. It's just weird that they're all the way out here. Are you... Alright. How do I... Nope, that's that. Nope, that's that. How do I equip different arrows? I want a fire arrow. No. Interesting noise. That did fuck all to them. Wow. Although it did set them on fire and freak them out, I guess. Oh, great. And now they have fire spears. Wonderful. Um, and I'm still using... Oops. I'm still using something that doesn't have a... Oh, great. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. You know what? Okay. I, okay, apparently I can get hit by two things at once. That's great. <sighs> yeah, I guess I should just stop using two-handed weapons because they're useless. That's what it really seems like. Like, no reason to use that in combat because I can't use the shield. And if you don't have the shield, there's no roll. At least the game hasn't taught me how to roll. There's no dodge button. I will admit, the minute that the game teaches me how to dodge, I'll take it everything back. It hasn't taught me how to dodge. I'm not sure if it's a thing. All I know is I can jump, and I can Z-target. It's not double-tapping a direction while targeting. It's not jump wall targeting, because I've done that, too. 
So I'm just sitting here thinking, well, it sounds like there is no dodge. No. Please roll that way. I hate everything. Why did you roll in the wrong direction? Maybe I just can't roll that far. Um, also, the fact that you can't see the arc of your throw. That's kind of annoying. Alright, well... All oh, right, these arrows don't actually. All right, well that's that. There we go. That's how I switch arrows. <sighs> how do I <sighs> just not? How do I just not? Listen, why don't you guys come over here? I'll just blow you all up. Because I don't care anymore. Oh, wait. <laughs> he stood right next to that bomb. There we go. Here, you have this. Uh, treat it nicely. When okay, it didn't hit you at all. What? He didn't notice me? I just don't understand the game's mechanics sometimes. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was a that was nightfall already. I'm like, alright, well. Apparently we've just skipped ahead in time, even though it just turned day. What are these? More bubblegum? Oh! Oh! Finally got rupees! Uh, I guess this one died? Wow, there's just rupees randomly everywhere. So they do have currency in this game. Okay. Wow, there's just random rupees everywhere. Did I explode a chest or something? Or is there actually just rupees everywhere in this game? Oh, that's gonna get real annoying. I hope it doesn't ever do that again. For every different type of rupee. 22 rupees. Wow. We got the money! Money, money, money! I do like spear weapons, don't like two-handed weapons. I'm slowly getting the hang of, like, what I enjoy. Love one-handed weapons. Particularly fast ones. Alright, there was, like, a Deku scrub or something over here. You. Yep, yeah, that's a Deku. Or an Octorok. Oh no, it's an Octorok, okay. I thought it was a Deku for a second, and I was like, oh, cool. No, just a stupid Octorok. Well, well there's interesting stuff over there. I'll go check that out. I don't remember Octoroks being under bushes, but... Whatever, I'll go with your game. Sure, why not? What's this? Oh, they're hunting. Ra 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 ra. Oh, my throwing sphere is badly damaged. Great, yay! I'll just pick up this wooden one, I guess. I saved you, piggy. Don't run into me. 
I was about to say. Piggy, don't do it. How much you want to bet there's something on top of this pillar? It's probably just another Boko area, isn't it? It's not human related. Although I do want to check out all this. Yep, yep. Totally caught it. So I can either paraglide over there or climb up it because we have like infinite climb strength apparently. Oh, no, this is a Bobo Kid thing. Interesting. What is this? Yeah, I'll take fire arrows. Oh, there's the town. That's what I want to check out. Oh, shit, there might be a guardian in the middle of it. That's a risk I will have to take. And over there? Bobokin. Okay. Well, I could go take out the Bobokin and then check out that. It's like I'm liberating everything. Yeah, I'm not going to make it all the way there, but... Am I? No, most definitely not. But I'll make it halfway up. Without using too much of my climb. Moblins are a problem. It makes me wonder if a shield, like... I'm thinking about it too much in terms of Dark Souls, where shield's like, if it's a big hit, your shield's not going to do much. It's just going to knock you over. And that's not going to help anyone. Which, in that case, makes those enemies, like, super hard to defeat without anything powerful that's ranged. Which, apparently, bows do absolutely zero damage. Ooh, no, that would be a bad idea. Let's not just paraglide into the middle of their camp. Although, granted, these guys are easier to take out than, uh, others. No explosive barrels. How far would that get? Not that far. And there's no way I can... Oh, interesting. Is it already turning nighttime? Are you kidding me? One of them's like, whoa, there was an explosion over there. Maybe I should check that out. All right, maybe bombs are a little broken, though. Just because they don't know what they are. Alright, this is kind of dumb. Ah, oh, I didn't even notice he had a bow and arrow. Well, fine. Have that. And you get the spear to the face. Oh, apparently there was a choo-choo there. Okay, cool. All right, choo choo, calm down. Oh, I may have to use that sword soon. Wow. Okay. Oh, I guess it's to the soldier's sword. I mean, there was going to be a time where I had to use it anyway, so. Might as well be now. Oh, hello! Oh, sure, I should switch to that, yeah. There we go. Although, it's got less defense. Let's just use up the spiked ones. There is a moblin somewhere around. What's in here? Just arrows. Okay. Throwing spear. Ooh. Actually, but that was pretty good. 
I don't know. I feel like I should have a longer weapon if I'm going to deal with moblins and drop something else. That's going to be useful. I don't need two torches. Although I am keeping a torch just in case I do need one. Soup ladle. It packs quite a wallop. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, how much you want to bet one of those guardians is alive? I think we're going to check out this town and then it's going to have to be it. Outpost ruins. So either there's going to be nothing here or there's going to be something. All right, this one's broken. Good to know. One of the ones in the middle may be alive still. So these are good to raid for like rusty items. One of those is definitely active. Really? Alright. I've already had to deal with like five of them. I was expecting it to just do that, but... Okay, why not? Just random barrels here. Just a regular wooden bow, which I don't really need. Whoa. Oh, rusty claymore. I thought it was like a bigger round sword for a second, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll take that, sure. It's funny how all the swords are just like stuck into the ground, you know, into the stone. Because that's how swords work. Rusty halberd. That thing's going to rust even more if you leave it in the water. Well, we had some backwards piano in the soundtrack for a second there. Don't know what that means. Another traveler's bow is here. Yeah, my inventory is way too small. I feel like I should be able to carry like 30% more than I'm carrying. Also, I swear to God, if it says that the sword is broken in, in another second, where's the last one? He like ran off. Oh, there he is. Oh, he went to go pick up the claymore. I wish there was like a durability rating. So I could tell like how long a particular weapon will last. Because some of them just aren't worth picking up if they're going to break every two seconds. And like I get the Boko stuff because like it's homemade and it's mostly wooden. But like a fine crafted soldier's sword. Oh, there's a whole lot more village to check out. There's also a Oh, there's a bucko over there. Oh, what the... What? What does that mean? Wait, has the moon always been red and I just never noticed it? I don't know. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, come over here. What, what are you going to do? Nothing. Because you can't do shit. Because you have no ranged attacks. Also, apparently I can't climb up that. Oh, well, okay. Is 
Does he have a rusty shit? Really? It killed, like, Bone, and it's slashing this dude. <sighs> so it's just gonna be like that, is it, huh? Whoa. What the... Uh, what's with the, uh... Uh... What? Whoa. Link. Link. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. Oh, that's how enemies. Okay. Please be careful. Well, wait, do they get stronger or do they just respawn? Also, I really, really like this system. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Oh, nice he spawns with another rusty sword, you know. Because that makes a whole lot of sense. I end up using, like, all of my weaponry. Oh, I forgot that the woodcutters was a two-handed. A really useless two-handed, although it apparently insta stuns. Oh, okay, so the Blood Moon came and it left already. So it's just like a warning of like, by the way, stuff's about to respawn when it all happens. And then night continues as normal. Okay. That's actually not the worst thing in the world. Um, where'd your sword go, buddy? Where did your sword? Okay. Well, I guess your sword is just gone. Sure, why not? Oh, wait, was that it? Yes, thank you. Ah. <sighs> All right, well, enemies respawned. That's not the worst thing in the world. Um, wow, do even guardians respawn? Dude, th did that boss respawn? Huh. That has me curious. Anyways, I, th I feel like I've gone way over for this episode. To thank you all for watching. And the next one, we'll go and uh, check out what's in that town over there. Thanks. Bye-bye.